All right, check this out. So here's some other um, AI-related features on the new Asus ROG Phone 8 that I have here. This is ROG Phone 8 Pro. So this phone supports semantic search in the gallery app, in the settings app, and in the launcher itself. So what this does is it runs an on-device model using Snapdragon H Gen 3, and um, this lets you search, for example, in the Photos app, the gallery app, you can search for, for example, food. Food. And it shows relevant pictures of food that you took. Or you can search for, like, San Francisco. And um, you can see image that you took in San Francisco. And um, the reason this is, I guess, significant is, you know, you might have seen a similar feature in, like, Google Photos, for example. But that requires you to back up the photo and upload it to the cloud. And then Google runs its, you know, processing, extracts metadata and whatever. This is all done locally on your device with whatever photos you've taken and stored in your gallery app. Nothing, no backups required or any cloud services required. So um, another use case of semantic search is to search for relevant settings. So those of you don't know, in Android, like there's so many settings, and the way Android tries to serve a settings to you is it literally has an array of keywords that are similar to the keyword you might be typing. So if you're looking for hotspot, some people might not know to look for a hotspot or search for hotspot. Some people might search for, I don't know, share internet right here. And then this use tries to figure out what's the most relevant setting to the thing that you typed into. So this could be helpful if you're not really familiar with the exact term of whatever you're looking for. Similarly, if for some reason you don't know the name of an app you want to launch, you just know it's a social media app, you can type in the launcher social, uh, let me type this correctly, social. And it'll show relevant social media apps like Facebook and Instagram in the launcher. So it's a pretty neat way to integrate AI kind of seamlessly in the background. You wouldn't really be notice it, but uh, it's definitely very clever and something I could see being adopted by Google in the future.